Good, wonderful morning everybody. We are following West Creek. Not to its source, but we're heading that way. The source is too far away. It's a, probably a good 10 kilometer walk and then 10k back. So it's West Creek down there. And lots of good sniffs. Are it. Interesting sniffs. Wildlife sniffs. Hey. Birdie sniffs. And yeah, she's got a dirty face. She's got mud splashed on her. We've crossed the uh, that main road there. Duckies. Lots of duckies. And a coot that's running. Somebody's into, interested in the coot that's running. Yeah, they've mulched all this. New trees planted all around the pond. Yeah, a lot of work has been done. Look at them. Shoot, shoot, shoot. They run, bird. They run. Yeah, these things do love to run. They do. <laughs> you let me out of that. <laughs> no, sorry. So the suburb is Kearney Springs. There's a spring ru running in there where they, they've got it all fenced off over there. There's a doggy over there, down there. We went and walked down that way. She wants to go where the doggy was. Follow the doggy. The little doggy though. Yeah, so we're still following the water course. But as I say, there are springs feeding this. So even though it doesn't look much, uh, with all the springs feeding it, uh, it does increase it quite substantially as you go cl closer and closer to town. And this creek is the one that does all the damage. So the flooding that we had in 2011, that swept a lot of the cars away in the main streets of Toowoomba, flooded all, a lot of the area, uh, is because of the, all the uh, springs and plus you've got all the roads, surface water, all that goes into these two creeks. And then you've got a, uh, a major creek north of Toowoomba called Gowrie, Gowrie Creek, G-O-W-R-I-E. And that, uh, yeah, it's got to, that uh, comes from the Condamine, or goes to the Condamine River. And that's, that's a pretty substantial one. And uh, if that floods, these two creeks, the East and West Creeks, back up. Because the water can't flow, get away. Bats. They're all getting settled in for the, the day. And look at them all. The camera really doesn't do it any justice. Thousands of them. Well, I don't think they'll be here for much longer because most of these gum trees are uh, in severe stress from them. 